Hey guys, it's FIFA Rattle here and welcome to episode 21 of Let's FIFA 13 and in this episode we'll have a bit of trading and then we'll build the new squad which will prove to be pretty good and then play some games in the end. Now I did a list of um, Varkas as a striker for only 900 coins or something like that in the last episode and I realized it pretty fast and managed to pick him up on my main account so I'm not going to make a loss in some way but still I'll make a loss on this account but I was just raging at the point in time where I listed him up listed him up but some people said I should transfer the coins back I'm not sure if I want to do it but if you think I should let me know and we can get the coins back if you really want me to but yeah on to this episode I decided to be, do a bit of trading and it was just after um, team of the week were released and that meant a lot of consumable items were cheap so I picked up center forward to striker cards uh, for between 4k to 6k and then I picked up uh, center attacking mid to center mid cards for between 5.5 to 6.5k and that meant I could make a lot of profit. You saw me picking up some Rondinos and Götze and I converted them into center mids and they would sell on and make me quite a bit of profit and the center forward to striker cards I would list them up and sell them for between um, 6k to 7k so that was not a too bad. I believe in the end I made about a 30 to 40k profit and the reason for the Consumable, uh, consumable items being so cheap well because this team of the week is so so good so I couldn't complain there the items were just uh, so very cheap and after I'd done the trading I went out and built uh, the squad for the contracts cup in goal we have Diego Alves and for a lot of people he is bad and for some people he is amazing and it's very difficult for me to say how good a keeper will be. I think some it's just hit and miss. It's very, very different. But uh, I think Diego Alves, I have good experience with him. So he is in goal. We have uh, Felipe Santana and Miranda as centre-backs. Very, very strong Brazilians there. Alaba on the left-back and Juan Fran on the right-back. Now the centre-defensive mid and centre-attacking mid is two players from Holland. We got... Um, Anita and De Guzman linking up between uh, Elia and Ben Arfa, uh, which both got the five star skills, and we already have them in our side. And finally, on the top, we do have Terabdo with the five star skills, and we do have Remy there with the pace. And um, the link between Terabdo and Ato in the other squad seems to work very, very well. So I think this combination will prove to be pretty good as well. Now, I wanted to play with this squad, but the fitness were a little bit low. So so we go out and play with our Serie A Brazilian side and before we went into the game I decided to pick up my Chachi because Fry didn't look it too good in the last episode so I wanted to try a different keeper and then we go into the semi-finals of the Gold Cup and it was a pretty difficult game, difficult to break down. Uh, David Luiz and Felipe Santana and it's not before the 62nd minute that I get a goal which is not too good but then in the 84th minute I will break through here with Rubinho nice stuff there to go past David Luiz and that is a 2-0 and that's pretty much how the game will end and I move on into the final but I didn't really want to play that game I really wanted to go into the Contracts Cup and see if I can get some sort of a revenge because I lost a bunch of game in the last episode when I played in that tournament and I really Really wanted to go out and win some games in it. So uh, we go out into the tournament with our new team and I come up against a 4-2-3-1 side there. Pretty nice and pretty strong but it's me getting the game started here with the Guzman. A few drag backs we get a shot in but it is saved by the keeper but I will keep on creating chances. Lovely stuff from Terab to flicks it up to the Guzman. A nice little volley and that is 1-0 and not too bad and we continue on a little bit quick passing and the Guzman to finish it off. What a lovely shot there. His shooting is, is so, so good. And I'll have to say, I should have played with the Guzman before because he's such a good player. He takes a free kick, a pick up a corner from it, and Miranda will head it in to make it 3 0. And he decides to rage quit after that. And that means I'm into the quarterfinals. And because he rage quitted just in the start of the second half, my team were pretty much fit for fight to go into another game. And we come up against a pretty nice Premier League side there. Our first chance is with Terab. It goes out for a corner but 
Nothing will really happen there. Then it's Ben Arthur on the ball, and I get very lucky to pick it up here. Make my way into the box, in between the two defenders there, and that is a 1-0. And we continue on. Uh, he gets through here just one minute after, and he will make it a 1-1. Bad defending for me. I moved a little bit far to the side with the jockey. But then in the 21st minute, we try out a long shot with the Guzman, and from that corner, we will make it 2-1. A nice little bicycle kick there from Alaba, and then it's Ben Arthur on the ball finds the Guzman, a little flick up, takes the volley and it falls to Terraft who will make it a 3-1, we have that 2 goal lead and while having that I was a little bit more comfortable trying out different things, uh, trying out shots from distance and stuff like that, so it's Ben Arthur on the ball, we take the shot but it is saved by the keeper then Remy on the ball, takes out the keeper and we try with a little bit of a fancy finish but the keeper will get back to save it, continue on Alaba on the ball, lovely stuff here, uh, we'll ship it into the box a little bicycle kick, but way off target. And one foul chance with Elia making his way into the box. Should probably have gone all the way myself with Elia because the shot with Terrapt ends up being a little bit bad. But nonetheless, I win the game and I'm through into the semi-finals, which will be the last game of this episode. And as you can see on the bench, I do have a silver side, but... Um, I do not really use it in this episode, so I will introduce it into most episode. We'll probably be playing a little bit of the Silver Shield tournament. But onto the gameplay here. This was a very, very tough game. He played ultra defensive, and I could simply not break him down at all times. He had. Uh, seven to eight players just back defending there and no space to be found I created a few chances but I really just couldn't get a goal it was so difficult to break him down so we go into extra time and as you can see yeah, he had basically no chances but his defense was just rock solid but I'll pick it up here with Remy a nice little slide tackle and I break through and it was really a relief to get that goal because as I said very difficult to break him down and we get another chance here trying to go for the far corner but a quite easy save for the keeper so the game ends at 1 to nil, and that's where this episode ends as well so yeah guys I hope you did enjoy it I will have another one out tomorrow and that's all thank you for watching and I will talk to you later